Many people ask me, Wug, we know you're an incredible pool player, but how does this grain spec Max for Live device work? And what does grain spec even mean? Hello, this is uh, my new Max for Live device that's called grain spec. Uh, it is a granular and spectral stretcher, and basically you just drop a sample in here. Uh, the slice threshold is the uh, sensitivity for the transient detection, which is how it slices. A higher value will give you um, less slices, and a lower value will give you more slices. So now we have it set on not time stretch mode, so like regular kind of stretching. And this we can just play with the speed knob. And it works kind of as you'd expect. Um, but if we switch it to time stretch mode, we can pick a different time stretch, a uh, different uh, spectral algorithm from here. Let's go with uh, rhythmic. Uh, yeah, and you could pick a quality. I usually just leave it on better. And then you can do stuff like... <laughs> So that's pretty fun. Um, then you can also switch between uh, these the spectral and granular modes, and you can actually crossfade between them. So let's just make the grain size a little bit bigger and the grain speed a little shorter. And then we can do stuff like. So that's kind of the, the granular side. Now for the grain speed, you can also, uh, or not the grain speed, sorry. For the grain playback, you can also give a little bit of randomness to, well, that was weird. You can also give a little bit of randomness to the, um, the position, uh, where, where the grain is, like what grains are gonna play. Um, and this is in milliseconds. And the uh, grain for the grain size, you can also give a little bit of spread. So it's like a little bit of randomness to what the grain size actually is. Um, and this is also in, in milliseconds. And then you can also control the width, obviously. You can pan it around as you wish. And we've got the master volume here. So that's kind of all the basic controls. Now, as you can see, if I move this little dot around, it controls these four knobs, right? I've got control over speed on the Y axis, or the X axis, grain speed is on the Y axis, and grain size is also on the Y axis, although it's scaled a little bit differently. And then the last knob, this grain to spec, is controlled by where you are in relation to this gray circle. And you can move the gray circle around if you're lucky. And you can also um, make the gray circle bigger or smaller by holding down Alt. Um, <clears throat> and that way... You're able to have control over all sorts of stuff at the same time. Um, <clears throat> the last thing that I wanted to point out, which is sort of an experimental feature, but I decided to include it because I think it's kind of interesting, is um, this uh, comb filter. So the comb filter, you can turn it on by clicking this, and then you have your delay time. Right, you've got the gain for that. And then you've also got feed forward and feed back. Uh, and those are just different types of uh, uh, feedback for the delay line. And then the last thing that you've got on here is a pitch detect function. And that will try to, <laughs> and it doesn't work super well, but you can, it'll try to detect the pitch of the audio signal. And then it'll try to match the delay time to the pitch that it's detected. So it's kind of a fun... It's a bit weird, but... So it's 
with some kind of fun, weird sounds just for just to kind of enjoy. Uh, I don't really use this that often. I just thought it'd be fun to include. Grain spec is short for granular and spectral. And these are the two types of stretching algorithms that I use in grain spec. Granular stretching revolves around chopping the sound into lots of different tiny little pieces, which are called grains, which can be a variable length. And then those grains are played back uh, quickly or slowly, depending on the grain speed. This way we're able to reconstruct the sound and move through the sound without, at any speed without affecting the pitch. Spectral stretching revolves around taking the um, taking the original sound, playing it through an FFT uh, algorithm, and then storing the amplitude and phase uh, of each individual frequency bin in a buffer. And then when we play back from that buffer, we do an inverse Fourier transform on the on the out outside the the ending bit, <laughs> and uh, we play back from the buffer that way, and that way we're also able to play back the sound at any speed, in any direction. We can also stop in time and play from one individual place. And the benefit of that one is that it has a little bit more of a sloshy, swishy sound than the grain granular method, which is more of a, a repeating, uh, quickly repeating type of sound. So. GrainSpec uses both of these algorithms, and you can cross-fade between them. And there are also different types of doing the spectral stretching, and you can select those from a drop-down list. There is a sweet little thing in here where if you were to unfreeze the device and um, scroll down here, I've left a little bit of space for... Uh, any effects that you want to do, this is kind of the perfect place to put them in the in the line. Because um, this is all the pan and width control and stuff. And here we have a little bit of this kind of analog distortion thing with the tan H function. Uh, it just gives a little bit of the rounding to the sound. Nice little distortion there. Uh, you can also take that out. Um, and I tried to be pretty straightforward with what's going on in here. Uh, as opposed as like to explain sort of how everything works. There's a little bit of notes for you know what's what's going on um, in the granular synthesis part. There's also uh, it's it's a little bit explained like how stuff works. Um, so you can dive into that and maybe that'll help you understand how these things are sort of made. We've got also lots of stuff like the speed and note control. We've got, um, this is for playing the transients, and then you've got this guy for the spectral stretching. There's all sorts of stuff in there. And I built my own uh, onset detection for this, and that all happens uh, in here, I believe. So <clears throat> lots of fun stuff to dig into there uh, if you're keen on doing some max patching. And if you're not, then, you know, that's always, that's fine. You can just use it as is. Um, <clears throat> there's also, this is sort of a, a little easy thing so that you can always test your, the device. You can just... So that'll always just give you that note. So that makes life a little bit easier um, for testing it and stuff. So that's that for the device. Um, the last thing I wanted to explain is this transient knob, which, okay. So, <clears throat> the transient knob uh, controls the amount of the transient that is uh, maintained um, from each slice. So every time I hit a note, it's going to play the transient first. And the transient is left unstretched. And this is done on purpose so that um, you can still get nice punchy kicks and snares if you've got kicks and snares in your, in your stretching thing. Um, and you can choose to keep a certain, like a certain length of that transient undisturbed, right? So... First, if we actually turn off time stretching, you can hear it a bit better. And then just turn this down. So 
So you can hear the transient playing first. And everything else is sidechained under this transient really uh, cleanly. So, so you don't have to worry about uh, phase issues and shit like that, at least not for the transients. For the other stuff, for the stretching, you know, there's weird phase shit that happens when you do spectral stretching and granular stuff. So, you know, just you have to be aware of that. Okay. So that is the grain spec device. I hope you like it. Um, pick it up on my Gumroad, gumroad.com slash wolg. If you'd like early access to these devices, uh, please follow me on Patreon or support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash wolg. Uh, all your support is very much appreciated and I will do shout outs to you and answer your questions and give you unreleased tracks and all sorts of stuff like that. Thank you everyone. Enjoy grains back. And now I'd like to thank my wonderful patrons from Patreon. Romanovich, Cyan Finley, TQI, Pierre Postman Colley, Marianne Essie Essel, Mac Benson, Stefan Mullenkamp, Heavy Hearted, Jared Liu, Stephen Duke, Ollie Dutton, Aria, Laurent Mialon, Teti, Martin Blakemore, Ruby Swan, Jake Leon, Egahorel, Egorel, Son of an Engineer, Shadow Wanderer, Justin Bieber, Nacho parentheses May, Mike Cooper, Clinch, Oliver Plock, JR, Meow, Brian, Matt McNail, Ma Matt McNall, sorry, Josh Vishnu, Aaron Semi Donmez, Nick Chavez, Maxime Leduc, Bill Gates, and Brocco Fancone. Thank you very much. Uh, if you're not a patron, please consider joining these wonderful people at uh, patreon.com slash wolg. Thank you. <laughs>